locally to work here. You want actually 600 people to work here to, to develop this, the things that to you do? To actually not develop it, but to remove right. gas engines, remove the diesel engines, to install our stuff and to produce the, uh, the product out there. Then we want to teach Americans nationwide on how to install our product. And I figure probably within two years, we could have 1.2 to 1.3 million Americans back to work in a new industry. Colleges are going to love it because they can teach electrical theory and electronic theory. This is just a stepping stone, dude. This is a stepping stone for our young population to be able to take this technology and do something different. They can expand and expound on it in leaps and bounds, as human as human beings do with the inventive type of uh, mentality. Creative minds have, that we have. Creative minds, man. Creativity is everything. Yeah, we produce the, we give you the tools to be able to make the first electric cars, full electric, full electric boats. You know, eventually we'll build full electric airplanes and then helicopters. Well, do you see that? Bridge. Do you see the I technology do. going there? We do. Once, yeah. once we start producing... 50 years, 100 years, how long? We can do it in 10 years or less. To where you can actually build power electric America, cars, power, power the, world. the entire world. We can probably do it in five years with enough money back to spend. Five years. You got... You got China every day putting coal fire burned uh, plants, generation stations on online. The amount of greenhouse gas is going in there is just pumping out in an enormous amount, in enormous amounts into the atmosphere and we have to breathe it. Pollution, pollution is gonna be number one killer. We're gonna see species on the world disappear that have been here for thousands of years. And that's all because of us because of us. Greed? What, what do you think it is? That got us I think it's greed. In life? Greed, and they say it's necessity. I don't think so. I think it's greed. It's, you think it's necessity to, to, to I mean, do this? No, we destroyed our world is what we're doing. Now we gotta clean it up. Why we still have something to clean up. Why we can still make a difference before it is to Do you think that we're at a point right now to where, I mean, is there like a tipping there's, point? There's kind a of critical... tremendous amount of damage already done to our environment. It's gonna take years to undo it. That you believe? But I think it'll it. undo it. So if we all get together, we can do this. We have done. other technologies that we're working on also that will actually make those changes and help make the changes and purify the water and get rid of the pollution off the top. And you want to do that electronically? Uh, the, the purified water, you get these big plantations that are that are running these things and they're putting out toxins and waste too. The more boats that we take off the water. More ships we take off the water that aren't producing any fossil fuels or using fossil fuels, the cleaner the air becomes. The more cars you take off the road that are burning fossil fuels, the cleaner the air becomes naturally. The world will recover. It will recover. It will take time. It will take time. And the fish will recover. Because yeah. less pollutants, less toxins in the water. It's like living in a house, living in a cesspool. How long are you going to live living in a cesspool? It's what we're doing to the ocean right now. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you it's know, what we're doing to our lakes and our rivers. How long are we going to let that happen? We don't need all that. We've got boats that are out there running two-cycle motors on the lakes. We're putting oil slicks across the lakes. It doesn't have to be. We've already got the way to make an electric output right now. Right this very minute. Right this minute. We can put it into production. You can actually have a, a, you can get a crew together, 600 people is what you want. Uh, so as far as that, what are your plans? I mean, do you have... You know who you're going to get, how you're going to recruit people, what do you want to do? What kind of people are you looking for? Are you looking for engineers? or We're looking for some engineers, but we're looking for a workforce. We're looking for a workforce. We already have probably about 15 people right now lined up, ready to go to work, that will actually do this. Everything from programmers, to designers, to architects, to our electrical engineers, to our guys on the floor, packaging up from the packing plants to our truck drivers, putting them out of the trucks, sending them to the train, sending them to shipping and receiving to send them across, to production on the line, to our mechanics on the line that are actually fixing our equipment. So yeah, we're gonna put 600 people to work. It's gonna take an army of people to make this happen. And then it's gonna take America to back us, to so back what, ourselves. What do you need? So if, if somebody was looking at this right now, and uh, maybe they want to invest some kind of time. I mean, are you offering jobs? Are you offering, uh, do, you, do you need uh, donation you know, work to where people just come and they kind of work you know, free of charge to kind of no, help no what's going out? What we need is, we need investors right now. We've applied for federal grants, but 
they're not coming very fast. Like the federal government, they're so, so quick to give it away when they feel like it. Yet, the people they're giving them the money to is the wrong people. You've got all of Chrysler and all these other guys that gave all these millions and millions of dollars to them. What have they done? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. All they've done is kept some Americans to work and they've swindled the rest. AIG swindled millions and millions of dollars on federal money. What happened to that? Guy got a slap on the hand, so one guy took the fall for everybody. You know, that's not fair. The money should go to the small guys like me because the answers are going to come from a small guy like me. It's not the big corporations that are going to make the answers of the world. It's one guy or one small group of individuals that are going to make the difference. And this is what we're doing. And this is what we've done. We've already made that difference. Green is right. Green is the right way. And this boat right here, I mean, it's just the start, just a stepping stone. The very beginning. The very beginning. To an end that's long lived, away, far away. It also allows for us to put our resources in other directions. Such as? Well, for instance, we have full electric vehicles and stuff to make them affordable. No less greenhouse gases, which means cleaner air, which also means that there'd be more money in reserve to help starving kids. It's the least of it. Yes, because now this is the big dog on the bay. Actually, it's a big dog in Washington State. And it's kind of nice knowing that you have a little sexual creature. And that everybody and all the marinas and all the waterways are jealous of them. All I have to say to them is, you can do it. We'll do it for you. <laughs> I heard those guys up on the, uh, the what did they say? No gas or get out of here, no gas? Yeah. <laughs> Why did they say that? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.